Hi, welcome to 25 Days of Animal Facts. Today we're going to be talking about the river otter. So river otters are a highly adaptable semi-aquatic mammal. They thrive not just in lakes, streams, rivers, um, etc., but they also do very well on land and they can even be found in aquatic environments that are the oceans, the sea, um, just like a sea otter. A river otter does a lot better on land than a sea otter does though, and they also don't float like a sea otter does. Thanks to special adaptations such as their rudder-like tails, their webbed paws, um, their ability to close their ears and their nostrils while they're diving, and their um, nick, nick, nick dating, I'm probably saying this wrong, but their third eyelid that allows them to stay underwater, um, they are excellent swimmers. So they can swim up to like seven or eight miles per hour and dive up to 60 feet underwater. River otters can be found near waterways in both Canada and the United States, all thanks to their very thickly coated fur um, that also happens to repel water. So the cold water of these areas doesn't really bother them. In fact, these smart little guys have discovered the best way to get around in snow, on ice, and even down slippery riverbanks is by sliding like you can see these otters doing here. This is not only an efficient way to get around that uses little energy and gets you going pretty fast like these guys, but um, it's fun. River otters love to have fun. They love to play around. They'll wrestle with each other. They like to have a good time. They are considered rather social, but they don't always hang out in groups. Um, river otters, when it comes to the males, may hang out in groups with other males, and the females actually do all of the child rearing. The father is out of the picture. This does leave the task of teaching the next generation their pups um, up to the mother. So as you can see in this video here, the mothers are a little interesting with how they teach their pups how to swim. If the pups don't just go for it, they will aggressively teach them how to swim whether they wanted to learn or not but it's all in good fun the pups need to learn this it's an important part of their survival as you can probably tell by these teeth here river otters are carnivores they feed on fish they feed on um, amphibians crawdads um, even sometimes small mammals and they have to eat quite a bit they have a very quick metabolism for their size while they can be underwater for up to eight minutes at a time, they're not gonna eat underwater. They'll usually take smaller prey up to the surface of the water and eat it there, but larger prey, they're usually gonna drag up to shore. Speaking of the shore, river otters are also known to build dens at the shore, usually on like lake sides or river sides where they can easily access the water um, right on the water's edge. They'll build this at tree roots, they'll build this around clusters of rocks, they may even take over other dens of animals like beavers or uh, muskrats and they'll line these dens with like grasses, mosses, leaves, and um, have multiple entrances both underwater and on ground, so that way they have a lot of easy ways to get into their den for safety. River otters are a very important indicator species, so if an area is doing well, river otters are going to be doing well. If an area is not doing very well, like maybe it's polluted, maybe there's some kind of imbalance in the habitat, the river otters are going to be disappearing. They're a key species for us to look out for. And unfortunately, as with a lot of animals, we are their biggest threat. They are a predator as well as a prey animal for a lot of animals, but ultimately um, pollution, habitat destruction, um, even habitat fragmentation or hunting can be a big problem for a river otter survival. That's also why they're a highly regulated species and why I have this tag on this pelt to prove that yes, this was legally obtained. They're also highly susceptible to being accidentally caught in nets or in traps, usually ones that are um, intended for beavers or raccoons. Anyway, I hope that you were able to learn more about river otters. I highly encourage you to go look up more facts about this fun and interesting species.